guys, I did uh, the super heat video, and uh, I, ne I don't think I never did the sub cooling. So today, uh, we're gonna do the sub cooling uh, video today. Uh, uh, let's start uh, over here. So this is the high side gauge over here. You can see it, the red color all the way around, and uh, we're gonna work with. Uh, as you see, we're gonna today we're gonna work with the R22, most common uses R22. Okay, um, the outside with the black numbers, as you know, this PSI says right there. PSI pressure. Okay, um, <clears throat> this particular gauge over here. Is set up for R12. I wonder if we still got an R12 up there. R22 and the green one, R22 and file 2. Excuse me, there. <coughs> Purple there, file. I'm sorry, file 2. File 2. Okay, now let's say. Uh, <coughs> Let's say you walk into a job and you walk to a job and you hook up the cage and your pressure sh go up to over here, 125, right there. Maybe a little bit more, 125, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, maybe 130, 35, 40, 45, 50. So all this line between over here, the five, 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 five. Okay. <coughs> So, let's say you pressure on the high side, you hook up the gauge, whoop, it went to 225, 225 over here in the middle, should be, and let's say 230, okay. So now, you know that you're working with R22. So, right away, you're going to be looking, forget about R12, the scale over here. You only uh, forget about the purple over here, that one. You're only going to be watching this big one over here, right? And the green one, which R22. And it's, that's where you wor if you're working, okay? So, like I said before, you got like a 230 PSI. If you look straight down your temperature, at that pressure, at this pressure over here, your R22 temperature should be 110. Okay, that will be the temperature of the R22. You see, look straight down, your needle should be facing like this. You see, well, like 230, I would say so. So it will be one, your pressure will be 110, okay? Now, and this time, okay, you know, you're working with R22, and your temperature, your free and tempers, R, R22, and your temperature is 110, 110. At this point, you put your thermometer, and the liquid line, which be the skinny line, you know, you get the bigger line, like like a quarter inch line. You hook up the thermometer, and you get your temperature reading. Okay. So now you got 110, right? And you hook up the thermometer, and the liquid line. Read those temperature. Let it set a little bit, so you get it. You should read those temperature, and let's say it could be, let's say it's a uh, hundred, a hundred degrees. You look at the thermometer, it's a hundred, right? So you minus a hundred and ten minus a hundred, so your subcooling should be ten degree subcooling. You guys follow me? How does this thing work? 
okay, you minus the temperature 110 minus whatever temperature you get in, in this. And in let's say you get a, let's say you get a, a hundred. It's just 100 degrees, I mean, but you still got those pressure over here on 110, right? And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, let's say you, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's 100. So again, you minus over here and then it will be 10. And let's say it's, uh, n you, liquid line will be, that your temperature is uh, 90. Right, so you minus 110 minus 90, it give you 20 subcooling. Okay, so I hope you guys follow up, follow me up in this one, and I uh, hope you this is helpful for you. And uh, uh, I do another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, catch you later.